All right, yo, so I'm working here landscaping for this lady and I'm listening to a Jordan Peterson podcast, lecture, whatever you want to call it. He's talking about the attainment of things. He said that it's not the attain, the, and he's talking about emotion, positive emotion, negative emotion. Where does it come from? Why do we have it? Feelings are like certain aspects of you. Like if you're hungry, like that's just a smaller version of you as a whole. And why do we, why do we not do things that we want to do and want to do things that we don't do and vice versa but basically he started talking about positive emotion is from the process of progressing towards a thing not attaining the thing itself and i tied this to something else that i heard but when he, he said when you it's like when you graduate college you are on top of the world for one day and then you and then you are you're back to nothing like you've achieved the thing yes but now a whole new like the game the game is gone it's diminished it's the the purpose has been achieved therefore the journey or whatever you've been working towards is no longer no longer necessary and then even though you achieved the thing you no longer have a process or a journey to be on and that is what wrecks people is they achieve they can achieve things yet how do you elevate and achieve more? So it's not necessarily, can I achieve something, but can I be obsessed with the game of getting the things? And can I, can, and that, that's what makes us positive because if you think about when you're negative, when I think about when I'm negative, that's, that's when I'm not really moving. I'm overwhelmed, I'm not taking action. I'm like experiencing the analysis paralysis of not being able to move forward, not being able to think freely. And that's just from that feeling, that negative emotion is just from not moving forward. And and it doesn't necessarily have to be extreme success or, or huge achievement. It just has to be the principle or the simple fact, or the simple action of moving forward and progressing and seeing that and being a part of that as yourself. And so that was very profound for me to hear and Tim Grover said something about um, like Kobe Bryant. He uh, had a 20 year NBA career and yet he only won for five days because he was a five time NBA champion. And it's like that day he's on, he's on the mountain, he, he reached it. But that, as soon as that day is done, the whole, the whole thing is void and it's gone. Yes, he did it and yes, it is meaningful and he was successful in what his mission was but now it's time to start the new mission. And it's like the, so therefore, if you're gonna spend more time in the process than actually enjoying the achievement of the goal, what was that? No, no. Then it, it makes more sense to be okay with being in the process, with being in the process as opposed to wishing or like thinking you should be at a certain point or a certain achievement faster. Like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna put this anywhere, but I just wanted to document it. But it's like, if I wanna get to uh, even like some like 10,000 followers with the podcast or with YouTube, then I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend more days trying to get from zero or four to 10,000 than I am actually enjoying 10,000. Because when I get 10,000, it's like, cool, I did it, but now it's time for a hundred thousand and then that day is going to come and it's going to be one day where i hit a hundred thousand and then it's going to be a cool now let's get to a million and it's just going to keep going and going and it's a process so the fact that you're not there yet shouldn't be the thing that diminishes you it should be the thing that reinforces you to keep moving forward because it's the process itself that takes the most time and creates the most enjoyment and I think that's something we all fail to see because the people around us expect us because they're not us. The only thing that they can see and rationalize in their head is the achievement. So our natural intuition is to seek the validation and the achievement from those around us. And when we aren't in the achievement because the achievement doesn't last forever, then that is what weighs us down is the energy that we conceive from other people around us and therefore i think that has is what has bothered me a couple of times and 
and wrecks a lot of people who are trying to be entrepreneurs is that they allow the outside noise to weigh them down because all that outside noise is expecting achievements yet the the purpose is the process and and that's not something other people can appreciate because they're not you and they're not living the experiences that we're living trying to create something new and and be bigger than whatever we think normal is and in reality there is no normal because everyone in life is trying to not be normal so therefore not being normal is normal and we're all just doing it in different ways in different areas and i i don't know i just think it's is a cool it's a cool concept a cool revelation for me is that our <laughs> our positive emotions strictly come they strictly come from tangibly being able to see that you're moving forward in something so i just say that's a big encouragement to not focus on the achievement or the the accomplishment of the goal but yet the process of the goal you're trying to achieve